Hello friends, welcome to electronics for you. Friends, generally 8051 has a very important register which is nothing but the program status word. The program status word actually indicates the flag status. Flags are the single bit register and used to store the result of certain function after executing instruction. So, here these flags actually indicates the result of the function after execution of instruction and in 8051 there are two register which indicates the flag status. The first one is PSW and another one is PCON register. Here PSW register actually contains the match flag whereas PCON contains the general user flag. Here I will explain PSW register that is program status word. Match flag are actually classified as carry flag, auxiliary carry flag, overflow flag and parity flag. Here carry flag is indicated by C, auxiliary carry by AC, overflow by OV and parity flag by P. The general user flags are GF0 and ZF1 which are grouped in PCON register. So, PCON register is having two different flags which are GF0 and GF1. Here I will not explain these flags. The PSW is accessible to fully 8 bit register with address D0H. Here is the bit pattern for the PSW register. As you can see here that it is 8 bit register. So, it is starting from bit 0 and ending to bit 7. And as per the pattern of PSW, you can see here this is parity flag, overflow flag, then F0 here is kept blank, then AC stands for auxiliary carry and CY is the carry flag. Apart from this, again two bits are there, RS1 and RS0. I will explain all these bits one by one. The first flag is parity flag that is P. Actually parity means a number of ones present in the accumulator. The PSW register actually indicates the number of ones in the accumulator and these number of ones are known as parity. If there is odd parity means number of ones are odd for example 3, 5, 1 etc. The parity bit of this PSW register will be set and if it is having even number of ones then it will reset. Now let's talk about another flag that is the OV and stands for overflow flag. This flag of ALU set <coughs> this flag is set during ALU operation to indicate the overflow result. Here OV equals to 1 if there is carry out of either D7 bit or D6 bit. So, accumulator is having again accumulator is of 8 bit and if there is carry generated either from D7 bit or D6 bit in that case the overflow flag sets. Other option is that whenever there is a sign conflict in the arithmetic operation in that case also the P, uh, overflow flag set and here are the examples of sign complex complex a positive uh, plus positive will be there there and the, if result is negative in that case also overflow flag set for negative plus negative equal to positive over flag sets then positive minus negative indicates negative in that case also overflow flag set and last option is negative minus positive equal to positive if such a result is there again overflow flag will be set. These are the different uh, sign conflicts where overflow flag may set and this uh, condition may arise only due to the signed arithmetic operation and that therefore this overflow flag will be set. Now, the next overflow uh, bits of these overflow flags are RS1 and RS0 that is bit 4 and bit 3. Here, this RS1 and RS0 actually 
used to indicate the here rs stands for the register select it is used to select the register back actually this not uh, these bits are not the results of the arithmetic operation means these are actually not the flags but if they we can set this and reset say it to select the register bank these bits are user programmable and user can set it uh, or reset it means we can uh, Put the, put the value rs1 equal to 0 or 1 depending on our instruction and these are used to select the register bank as indicated here rs1 and rs0 may be 00, 01, 10 or 11 here the decimal value will be respectively like this 0, 1, 2, 3 and as per that the respective register bank will be selected and the register bank selection in the program can be changed using this two bits so we can change the register bank if we select for example 10 our register bank will be bank 2 and if we select 11 as rs1 and rs0 in that case the register bank 3 will be selected next bit pattern is about the general purpose flag that is app 0 here it is kept for the future purpose and currently there is no use of this next flag is ac that is auxiliary carry flag here the auxiliary carry flag will be set if there is carry out of d3 bit so if the carry is generated from lower nibble to higher nibble in that case this flag is set and otherwise it will remain zero it is used in association with the bcd arithmetic to convert the given binary number into bcd and it is used by the microcontroller itself so we can't control it the next one is carry flag which is again very very important whenever the carry is generated from d7 bit then this carry flag is set and it generally indicates the arithmetic operations and as this carry flag is can be operated bitwise also so for arithmetic operation we can use this carry flag just like an accumulator so these were the different flags used in the uh, psw register now let's talk about some uh, important information 8051 support bit manipulation instruction means we can operate the uh, 8051 as per the bits and bit operations can also be done using the bit data for this purpose the content of this psw are bit addressable the instruction that affects the flag status here are the list of instructions which affects the different flag status for example add instruction add c instruction sub b instruction mul uh, dv uh, div instruction will affect the carry and overflow flag just like this here in case of uh, multiplication and division instruction here 00, 0 is written means carry is not affected by these two instruction but here x indicates the unknown result so uh, it may be 1 or 0 but uh, these flags will be affected whenever some instructions are used now you can see here that in uh, many cases only carry flag will be affected whereas auxiliary carry flag is affected only in case of addition and subtraction instruction whereas overflow flag is affected in case of addition and subtraction and multiplication division instruction so uh, these are the different instructions which will affect the PSW status. And friends, if you like this video, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification. And like, comment and share. Thank you.